Yeah, the other zone I've got my enclosures are off. The other Welland. From Game Dude Computers. Nice design. It's very CT-ish. Very CT-ish in design. It's a shame about that. I love the design and the quality, but the bloody board's shit. There's always something. This and this can pull it apart too. This power ball, power adapter. Hopefully that one's not noisy. Let's uh, get that going. Make a whack a H double D device in there. I keep using this in here up until it gets better. Chuck the one turbo WD in there. This one, this one even comes with um, the tools. Taiwan innovative design, but made in China. It would have been nice if it was made in Taiwan because the quality is better. Warning, please don't tear off the plastic isolation membrane to avoid the electric current short to burn down HTD. <laughs> That's what the other one said too. Red, blue and green. Red is red I think. Blue and green. Interesting. Push it out a bit, wasn't it? There we go. Let's push too far in. That's better, I can see it now. I was pushed sort of when I couldn't see it. That's better. I want to stick out a little bit. Oof. I've got another one of those switches too. This one's pretty hard. Nice design. Used to have these SATA, but these SATA is pretty much useless now. There's some new USB uh, 3 and everything. There's a main chip. 2014, 22nd of the 11th, 2014. I'm gonna stick a HWD in there. Even throw in a spare scroll in case I lose one. That's a good idea. Give me a spare. There's a printing on the top, but this is upside down now. <laughs> the printing is upside down. See, they take shortcuts, like making stuff in China, that's gonna happen. If I just made it in Taiwan altogether, it would have been much better for them and better. I would have paid attention to all that, that sort of detail. You don't use those stupid stands either. Too likely to fall over and damage the drive. Get some good grip matting and stick your hard drives on that, on their side like that. They're less likely to drop and get damaged. Don't like the idea of having them stand up like that, otherwise get knocked over and the drive will get damaged. Easy as up, yep, easy as that. No chinglish, it's pretty good. Easy, easy. Let's uh, energize this device. I'll put this spare score away when you're going to need that. I'll do a teardown on the service friendly wall ward. I like this idea, very good. I like how you can do that. Nice design, oh nice pretty little heat sink on that surface, uh, that little uh, chip there, very good. I like, I like. The uh, YHC main photoelectrolytic, negative 40 to plus 105 degrees Celsius, 33 microfarad of 400 volts. Not sure what that is, ew, jeez. Bit of contamination there, what are you trying to, uh, trying to smuggle into this country? The main transformer, YHC capacitors, low ESR. Oh, that's good. Wow, this is a good quality little wall wart. Clearance is really good on this. See. Next time I'm going to go to my container, I'm going to get a bloody tripod before I forget it. I keep forgetting to get the bloody tripod every time I'm there. That's good quality. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. We've got the MOVs, some isolation. Optocoupler, that's a 12 volt transformer, obviously. Chunky diodes. A bit like my diodes, big and chunky, handle more juice. Very nice quality stuff. Got like a little, uh, um, ah, that's a, it's not a neon, it's like a wafer switch in, in there. Hang on a minute, that's a, it's a fuse. Interesting fuse. Very interesting design of fuse. Interesting. Very interesting fuse. 
I'm not hitting the other day in this one. Very good quality stuff. It goes in that way. There's two slots can go in either way this board. Good quality, good quality. I like how you can pull these apart too. Because you never know what's inside those sealed ones. You can't pull apart. There could be all sorts of booby traps in there. We'll put that back together and we'll uh, energise this device and uh, yeah, see if this makes any noise or not. It looks pretty good quality, so I don't think it's going to make any noise. Energise this device. Plug it in. Yeah, it's plugged in. What the? It's not working. What the heck going on there? Huh. What was that switch? Oh, what the heck? Oh, right, let's try this noisy ass wall wart. See, it's a wall wart, it's a problem. What? Don't tell me this one that work. What the hell? Well, that socket's not very good actually. What? The device don't energise. I'm going to have to pull this thing apart. You bastards. Chinese skimps. Yeah, this thing clutch seems dead. <clears throat> Parker. Dead as a maggot. Just to be sure it ain't the switch. Short that out, no power. A bit of a spark. Nothing getting hot. What could it be? I might try a bigger power adapter, see if that does nothing. I'll try a bigger one, see if it works. Ah, oh, looks like we've gotten screwed over. Ah oh, well, I left them some feedback, hopefully um, I'll give me a refund or I'll send it back. False alarm, it's working now. This is a top of enclosure, it needs a USB input to work because it was stuck in standby mode. This one, this one, all the other ones, they'll turn on regardless of a USB input. But this one, no, I need a USB input in order for this thing to go out of standby. Right. This thing's fine, there's nothing wrong with it. There is, however, something on this freaking Windows 10. See, it won't turn on. I'm gonna plug these half in. Put a, here we go, a quarter of the way in. I plug them a quarter of the way in and they work. I think this cord's a heap of shit. Yeah, this cord's a heap of shit. File Explorer, see if it comes up in here now. The drive's not popping up. Let's go to my disk management. It's all, the disk drive was already initialized this computer. Okay, well it's popping up. Disk file, not initialized. Initialize this disk. See, the device is not ready. I know I tried a different USB cord. That is a cheap, snotty, dirty, shitty looking cord, so. I'm going to try getting a different USB cord out. This will work, surely. Bloody things. There's always something. Well, it's working better with a better quality cord. This one is a bit flimsy. And these cheap ass USB ports aren't working properly. Even on this card reader. I tried a back cord maybe. This one's plugged into the back of the machine. I tried plugging that into the back. Keep an eye on that and see if it does anything. Yeah. Don't trust these front USB ports. I don't have to buy a new hub for this um, case, I think. It pissed the floppy off, put a USB 3 hub in there and a good PCI card. But I'm not seeing the drive pop up. It's already initialized and everything. What's going on there? What is going on? The disk, so the drive is already formatted. What's going on there? 
the VOS is not ready. I'll try another machine. Yeah, I can't trust Windows 10. Not when I've upgraded it. Say it's offline then. It just won't go anywhere. No one ain't. Well, the, the, the uh, enclosures are off, but why is it not a... Uh... Let's try that one. Does that change anything? says it's okay here, why can't I, uh, what are we doing, why don't let me do it, I don't know, don't upgrade to Windows 10 for Windows 7, it's best to wipe the computer, back everything up and start again, if you want to upgrade to Windows 10, because this, um, yeah, this is bullshit, if you're going to upgrade to Windows 10, I suggest you back your Windows 7 up on another hard drive, and start again on another disk, and just install Windows 10 from scratch. This uh, upgrade, I don't know what it does, but they must do something. It just wrecks it. Anyway, the enclosure's fine. I gotta just quickly let the eBay so they know the enclosure's fine to confirm that. It's my bloody computer. Anyway, thanks for watching.